to Auto House to Naples. I'm Haley. And I'm Leighton. And two is better, better than, than one. one. Today we have a really fun convertible for you guys. Again, another convertible. <laughs> but before we get into this car, make sure and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. To click the bell, turn the notifications on, follow our Facebook and our Instagram. And check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful Mini Cooper. All right, so what we have for you guys today is the 2018 Mini Cooper S convertible. So this is that S model. You got your the sportiest of the Mini Cooper models. And I love the front of these cars. They're just such cute cars. Again, it reminds me of like the Beetle. They're just really cute cars. Mm -hmm. Mini Cooper actually describes it as kind of a bulldog look. More so because it's close to the ground. It's big, but it, it kind of helps with the handling of it. It's like an oversized go-kart. Yeah. <laughs> On the front, you've got a really fun look. You've got that grill with the S, all the chrome around the grill. And my favorite part is these headlights. They are so cool. What Mini Cooper calls them is it's got a halo around, and then you've got that Mini Cooper logo. They look really cool when they're on. They light up really nice. And it's just an overall real good looking headlight. You got the white stripes on the front, the white bonnet stripes. And the exterior is in an electric blue metallic, and it's stunning. I love that color. It truly is electric. I mean, it's just bright and colorful and just so yeah. fun. It just pops out at you. Over here, one of my favorite things on the exterior, I love these wheels. You have two-tone Mini Cooper wheels, and they are really cool. These ones are the 17-inch um, propeller spoke wheels, and they're super cool. One thing that I think is really neat they uh, put the Union Jack on on the air caps as well. Really great condition. Again, Union Jack on the side. It's like they really tried to just throw it anywhere they could on this car. You got Union Jack again over here. And just wait until you see the top. Yeah, I'm excited. And the top is so cool. A little sneak peek right there though. You can kind of see what we're talking about. But yeah, this is one owner, garage kept, chrome over here, chrome door handles. I love all the chrome finishings on it. Yeah, and just super great condition. Love it. Colors nice. I love the color for a Mini Cooper. It's really great. It looks good. I love on the back here. You've even got kind of a little bit of the mini emblem in there. If you see it, it's kind of cool. It's like subtle. And then we'll pop the trunk for you guys once we get the hood up. But you got the exhaust down there, looks real good. The I love the back of the car. You've got this kind of like lip that goes right over the exhaust but keeps the body color. It looks really nice. I like how the exhaust is in the middle like that. Yeah. Looks cool. Yeah, it looks That's cool. only on the S models. Oh, and it's only on the S models. <laughs> yeah, the non-S has one pipe on the side. Yeah, I love the, the S model. Does It looks as sporty as they wanted it to. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. It's such a small, compact car. Um, I, I just really love the look. I just love seeing the Union Jack on the, <laughs> the air cups over here. So we'll pop the hood. This one's going to be, you're going to pull it twice to pop, just like those BMWs, because manufactured by BMW or took over by BMW so there's no latch on this one you just pop it open looks really nice got your twin power turbo so this engine you're gonna have a two liter turbo inline four and it's gonna give you a hundred and eighty nine horsepower Ooh. That's my kind of car. Yeah, <laughs> this is Leighton's driver. The top speed is actually 143, which Ooh. is actually like so surprising. Yeah. I'd love to see this Mini Cooper flying <laughs> by any Mercedes on the freeway going 140, but it looks really clean. It's nice and should take the, put the top up and go for a test drive. Yeah. Let's show them the cool One more top. thing too. How cool that it goes around the the lights you got that opening on your hood i think it's so cool it's got the little holes in it to go right around the headlights so neat Ooh. all right let's get 
the this top has sport off. mode too. Sport mode and green mode. You can also pull the seats back if you need more space, need to move something bigger. But I just love the trunk on this. I think it's so cool. All right. Let's go take it for a spin. Safety first. Safety Layton's getting the big powerful one today. Yeah, huh? I am. Going 140 on the freeway. Woo woo! Woo! Oh, wow. That was quicker than I expected. Yeah, let's get those windows up. actually surprising me today. <laughs> I love you have this main center kind of circle for the infotainment center. It's really neat. I got your navigation on there. It's kind of funny because you know the old minis you had like your speedometer was right here which I thought was really cool but it is kind of nice that they move the speedometer back to the left side. We're back now that Lane almost sideswiped the curb on this beautiful <laughs> two-tone wheels. Would have broke my heart. Okay, but anyways, you have the navigation here. You've got your phone connectivity, radio. Oh, there we go. Satellite radio. Very cool. I like the mini connect system. I just love this circle. I know. Lights. I love that they really took the the circle theme from, you know, kind of some of those original minis and like they kept the circle vents over here. You've got the circle here, circle there. It's kind of like this halo circle effect and I think it's really neat. Especially right here because I kind of missed the old ones where the speedometer was right here. Yeah. We had one really of those cool. recently. Yeah, yeah, and I think they're really cool. So it's kind of nice that they kept that big um, circle back there. I used to love sitting in the back seat of a Mini and you could see the speedometer as someone's mm -hmm. driving. Down here you have your air settings. Very nice. And then you got your AC, my favorite button. Max AC. It gets blowing pretty quick. Yeah, it does. And it's really cold. Layton's favorite, the heated seats. It's interesting that it's green like that. Yeah, normally it's red, but it's yeah. kind of cool. Just go oh, turn that turn, off. Turn that off. <laughs> oh, we'll turn our automatic off. We'll turn that off as well. I love the start stop, how it's over here. Um, I think it's just kind of cool and unique spot for your your start stop button. Yeah, I like how it's red too. It yeah, it like out. stands out. Oh, here she goes. Here I go. Hopefully, I don't bump my car. Oh, there's another Mini Cooper driving by. Oh, 
have those mirror adjustments. Yeah, there. adjusting mine right now, it was I couldn't see anything. <laughs> That's really nice though to just be able to do while you're driving. But man, that got up pretty quick. And I love this kind of carbon fiber interior. It adds a nice look on that carbon black interior. And down here it was making a little noise, so I'll just show you guys now. Oh, besides my phone, I've got some goodies in there. Um, you've got, I like this, I think this is really cool. So it's got the mini logo on it and everything, and it's to hold your phone. So when you're driving, you can have your phone visible without actually being on your phone. Because that's dangerous. And then you also have your wheel lock. So I'll keep those out so it doesn't make as much noise. But I think that's a pretty good space over there. And then you also have on the side of the door, you've got good space right there. You've got your speakers. You've got the upgraded. Harman Kardon speakers. Really good sound when Layton's bumping her tunes. Mm -hmm, with the top down. Yeah. I love these too, the lights. Yeah. How, I, I just love these buttons. The, the little or, knobs. Or like levers, I guess. Yeah, they're really cool throughout. Oh, it's kind of top. iconic for minis. Like, you know, that, I feel like that's just such a kind of staple in their cars are these mm -hmm. little like knobs. I think they're really cool. And then we got a sunroof option as well, which is really cool. So. This way, right? Yep. Woo! It's bright. So that's gonna give you. I don't think I did all the way. I just don't want the top to go down. Oh, there we go. So you've got a sun, a sunroof, which is really cool on a convertible. All right, chill out. And then you can close it and still have your enclosed top. Yeah. The headliner is in really great condition. The top's really great. I love the back seats. I love the shape of the seats. I think they're really cool. I know, I love the circle. Yeah. So you've got a four-seater, two-door convertible. And I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's so great for this car. I mean, Mini has those four doors, but I don't know. Something about the two doors just really seem to fit the nature of the classic mini look yeah one of my favorite things is the heads up display and a lot of cars we drive that have that just kind of shoot it on the road but it has that like little um, protector. protector yeah that it, it's kind of like a screen but yeah yeah and then it also shows the speed limit there you can see that i'm speeding <laughs> but no that's super helpful in areas you don't know yeah, when you don't know what the oh. speed limit is. Yeah, it's really nice. I just like the heads up so when you're driving, you know what speed you're going. Yeah. As hard as it is to just, you know, look down. Look at the inches. Yeah. It just makes it so much easier. Modern technology making the easy things that much easier. Yeah. Here she goes. down below at your feet. You can kind of see the reflective purple right now. Oh yeah. But I love ambient lighting on cars. It's such a luxurious feature. 
It is for a Mini Cooper. Exactly. The door panel is really nice. Again, keeping with that circle halo theme. Love the look of these door handles. Speaker below. And then what we thought was very cool was on the driver's side for your um, windows, you have a button that rolls up all of them or rolls them up or down. All of them. All at once. So here it's we super go. quick too. Watch. It's Just really like cool. Yeah. I thought that was really neat. Yeah. Up here you got your speedometer and your other I know, I love this wheel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just super comfortable. I love the look of it, the, the circle stitching again. stitching too. Yeah. The stitching is really nice. The contrast stitching. Your Union Jack again down below. It's so funny, they really just threw that UK flag anywhere that they could, which is kind of ironic now that they're made in Germany. And even though it has its, you know, British roots, it kind of, I don't know, in a way it's kind of a, a German car, but yeah. now that it's made by BMW, that's what Bill and I were talking about that earlier. It's, it, it, is it British? Is it German? Like, yeah, wh what are they going for? I think most of them are made in Germany. Now this one, I believe was made in Germany, but it, a lot are still made in, uh, in, the UK. in the UK. Yep, but it's kind of just interesting. The whole history behind it. It was actually founded by John Cooper and his dad, I believe Charles Cooper or something like that. And it was called Cooper Motor, wait, Cooper, Cooper Car Company. Huh. Cooper Car Company. They've come a long way. Yeah. And the whole purpose of the Mini Cooper was to create a car that was um, very fuel economic. And this one is. Even for the sport model, I believe it's sport like mode. turn yeah. into sport mode for the sport model. Yeah. Let's motor hard. Let's motor hard. Yeah, so like you said, for the sport model, it's still pretty um, fuel efficient. Yeah, and I think this tank holds 455 miles or somewhere around there, which is pretty high yeah. for for a small compact car like yeah. this. Yeah. I think my car holds that many. I just love the interior of this car. You've got the mini logo right there. And that does pop out if you're not really into that. I like it. Icon. I think it looks really cool. I love the logo. And another really cool thing, because the top's in really great shape, so is that window. It's crystal clear. The back window has a defroster on it. So it will defrost. Oh, that's nice. No, yeah, even just looking through it right now, it looks like glass. It's so clear. Yeah, it really is. Especially for a convertible back window. Sometimes you kind of have a hard time finding a great one. But yeah. It's in really great shape. shape. Down here you have your USB outlet, your aux cord, a charging port. And I absolutely love these cup holders. You've got a checkered pattern down here looks so cool and again How the cool key the you've key. got your circle key so cute mini i just love the interior you have a little tiny center console here i love the print in there it's just a really well-made car yeah you can tell that they didn't on. skip on the details on this one yeah i like it it's really nice i love all the materials in here as well Sport mode. No, this is in uh, normal mode. Oh, is it? Here. Oh! Whoa! You can tell the difference. Yeah, it's motor hard. What about green mode? That puts it back in mid and then green. Oh! Let's minimize. So cute. Oh, look, and whenever you turn it into green mode, it comes up here like how how many miles per gallon I think you're like saving. Oh, that's, that's really nice. 
It drives really nice. It does. For like a smaller compact car. And a convertible. And a convertible. Road noise is pretty good. my kind of car for sure well thanks for checking out this 2018 mini cooper s and check it out on our website autohossenaples.com yep and make sure to subscribe to our channel you can see all of our new videos and let us help you drive, drive your, your dream, dream.